is Dick Tusky, the founder of the Serious Writers Guild. Makehits.com, I'm the boss. And this is our eighth four minutes on the net with Dick. So what have I got for you this week? Well, I continue to give you the best music advice, tips, techniques, methodology on the net. So what have I got? Let me see. Oh yeah, there's been a big thing going on on LinkedIn. Are you a member of LinkedIn? Just look it up, I'll put the uh, the address down below. LinkedIn, it's a, it's a whole lot of, uh, like a blog of businessmen, music people, industry people, all that sort of thing. And you find that the, it's better than the usual news group because all the guys on there in the music business tend to know what they're talking about. And I like that. So you can listen in or look in and you can get some really good advice. But the the main topic that's been on in the group that's called, what's it called, a uh, songwriting industry. The main topic has been a guy wanting to know how he can actually punt or sell his songs. Well, we all put in our penny worth and I'll tell you what came out of this. Some really good facts. One guy pointed out very pointedly, uh, it was me actually, <laughs> that you, your material has got to be the sort of material that would sit comfortably between the number one and the number three this week. I mean, that's a given. There's no point in trying to make music that you want to convert people to. You know, this is the sort of music you should want to listen to. It doesn't work. You can do that after you've had the first couple of hits. Then you convert them to your way of thinking. Well, we went on to uh, examine all the different ways of getting your music noticed. And... <laughs> Practically, no, there's no point in sending jiffy bags. I mean, that's a, an absolute given. They are never open. And I explain that because Pete Waterman, who I respect an awful lot, he actually says on his, his uh, website, he says, please do not send any demos. They will not be open. And he means that. So how do you get your stuff noticed? Well, one of the guys said very pointedly that no record company will accept amateur material and that's for real and I said uh, to the gang I said read the book PWL from the factory floor and I'll give you uh, the ISBN of that and really that points out that whole thing that it all the songs are written from within you know the producer will get together with the sound engineer will get together with the artist and they they They've no conception of taking material from a rank outsider. So how do you get noticed? One of the good ideas was to get with a local band. Get a local band to do your stuff. Now I say that in my How to Make a Million from Your Music. Get a local band to do your stuff. If the band becomes a bit successful, then, as I always point out, if they've got the queues down the street and they've got the merchandising going, they can get up to 2,000 white labels selling them a week. And if you've got your material on there, you will be noticed. And then the next stage is to get yourself involved with the publishers or with the record companies, get their attention, and they will gradually, gradually, gradually accept you into their circle. So when the producer or the engineer or the artist is in line for a new song and you happen to be knocking around you may be in there for a meeting who knows then they they sort of get you involved in the process and that trust me is truly the way it works you have to be what I call famous before you're famous but we get on to all sorts of other things like the way you dress the way you write the way you talk but all that is in how to make a million from your music which is probably the best 10 month course there is in the world on how to be successful in the music industry but hey you don't want to believe me trust me there are people in 52 countries now that believe me and they're very successful so let's get on to the testimonials i'll tell you that i'll tell you what optical express i hate them I screwed up a laser job on my eyes, so I've got to wear glasses for this. This one says, Deck won two Radio Spin Awards, got invited to play a Florida State tour, along with a major label showcase, bigger than SX SW. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's pretty big. Thanks for all your help, and that's from Mark. That's lovely, isn't it? And now the gags. So the gags. This guy in Ireland, he bought a donkey from a farmer. 
hundred pounds. The farmer the next day when he went to see him he says, Oh my god, he said the the donkey's dead. I said, No problem, just give it to me. I'll raffle it. What? So about four weeks later they met up. The farmer said, How'd you get on? He said, Oh I raffled it. Five hundred tickets, two pound ago. He said, Did you not get any complaints? He said, Well when you think about it, five hundred pounds, two pounds ago, that's a thousand quid. Hundred pounds I gave you. He said, Yeah, I did get one complaint. He said, Well, what did you do? He said, I just gave him his two pounds back. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So here we are. Nakeheads.com. Four minutes on the net with Deck, and this is Deck Klusky, founder of the Serious Writers Guild, all those years ago, and now the proud owner of Make Hits. So get on the blog downstairs and ask me a question. I might answer it next week, you never know. So see you then, bye.